This is a chest tube system. And if you're going to be working in a hospital, on a med surge floor, ICU, or step down unit, you will definitely be seeing and caring for chest tubes. In addition, understanding the three chambers of a chest tube system is super important in nursing school and something you will definitely get tested on. This is the drainage collection chamber. It's important to chart the amount and color of drainage in this chamber. And if there is excessive drainage, such as drainage over 100 milliliters per hour, you want to notify the provider. Here we have the water seal chamber. We would expect to see titling in this chamber, which is the up and down movement of water. Our cool chicken hint to help you remember this is seals swim in the tides, so titling is expected in the water seal chamber. If you see continuous bubbling in the water seal chamber, that is indicative of an air leak. And if there is a lack of titling, this may mean that the lungs have re-expanded or it can mean that there is some kind of obstruction present. And then finally, we have our suction control chamber here. There are two types of suctioning, wet and dry. In this image, we have dry suctioning. However, if your patient has a unit that uses wet suctioning, then continuous bubbling is expected in this chamber. 